Hi guys! Today's video topic is kibble. Kibble is super handy in many situations in ARC and that's why it's important that you learn how to make it and how to make it in the easiest way possible for you. This guide covers the kibble system on PC and console only. If you play ARC Mobile it won't help you a lot, but I'm going to link you another tutorial that you can check out as a mobile player. There are also some tips and tricks in the end of the video that you usually won't find in other guides. These tricks will make the difference between you being a casual player or you being an advanced player. So stay tuned and watch until the end. If my guides help you, it would be great if you give me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel so YouTube sees this video is relevant and more people who look for these kind of information will find it. But now to the different kinds of kibble. There are six different kind of kibble in the base game of ARC at the moment, which you can acquire by cooking eggs with different ingredients in a cooker. You need different sizes of eggs and several other ingredients I will now talk about. I am also linking to the recipe site of Dodo Dex down in the description, because I am not going to name every single dino that creates the different eggs or needs a specific kibble, because these things can change over time and I want this guide to be universal, even when new animals are added or recipes are changed. Since Dodo Dex is always up to date with these kind of things, you will find the updated data there. But now let's jump right into the topic. The first and lowest quality kibble is the grey basic kibble. You cook it with extra small eggs and the animal of your choice you get these from is the dodo. Easy to tame and produces tons of eggs in a short time. Together with those eggs you also need one cooked meat, 10 armor berries, 10 tinto berries, 5 mayo berries, 5 fiber and water. The second kibble is the green simple kibble. It is cooked with small eggs which you can get from raptors, strikes or pteranodons. There are several other animals who also provide these eggs. Check out Dodo Dex for more. These are just the most common animals you will have in your gameplay anyway. Together with those small eggs you need one cooked fish meat, two rocker root, five mayo berries, five fiber and water. The third kibble is the dark blue regular kibble. It's cooked with medium sized eggs, which you will get from Ankylos for example. Together with those eggs you also need cooked meat jerky, two long grass, two sever root, five fiber and also water. The next kibble is the pink superior kibble, which is made from large eggs that you can get from Argentavis, Allosaurus or Spinos. You also need prime meat jerky, two citronel, one sap, two red mushrooms, five fiber and water in order to make this kibble. The exceptional kibble has the yellow icon and is made from extra large eggs that you can get from Rexes, Gigas, Theris or Quetzals. For the whole list please check Dodo Dex again. The other ingredients are a little bit more rare and expensive because now you also need focal chili, one rare flower, 10 mayo berries, 5 fiber and water. The last and best kibble is the cyan colored extraordinary kibble. It is cooked with special eggs, which are fertilized Deinonychus eggs, golden eggs, magmasaur eggs, rock drake eggs, vibrant eggs and Uteronosaurus eggs. On top you need one honey, one Lazarus chowder, 10 meos, 5 fiber and water. To make all kind of kibble, you first need to have several structures in place to provide you with all the ingredients needed for crafting. Aside from the dino eggs and therefore the different dinos that lay them, you will also need a greenhouse or at least crop plots that will produce the vegetables that you need and also a campfire or a grill to cook the meat. Next you need a preserving bin that will produce the jerky meat. Last but not least you need a cooking pot to craft chili and chowder and also the kibble itself. If you use a regular cooking pot because you're not able to craft the industrial one yet, Make sure to be close to a water source so you don't have to carry around all your water bags to refill them for making the different kind of kibble. As soon as you have the industrial cooker it shouldn't be an issue anymore because connected to a piping system the cooker will automatically fill with water. If you fill your normal cooking pot with all ingredients make sure only using thatch as fuel because wood produces charcoal and charcoal together with the right berries will produce dye. So no wood for cooking kibble. And now that you know how to make the kibble and which kibble is available, now you really want to know what to use the kibble for. The main purpose of kibble is being a taming food that tames creatures fast with a high taming efficiency. Almost every animal prefers a different kind of kibble and it's useful to have all kind of kibbles available. 
There is a little hint towards this at the end of the video though. Another important part of the kibble usage is as an imprint food for babies. Babies can ask for different kibble when having their imprints. To imprint a baby with kibble, just put the kibble on the zero slot in your hotbar, stand close to the baby and press E to interact with it. A third and not so much common use for the kibble is as baby food. Especially the lowest kibble is often used as baby food because it is light, it stacks high, doesn't spoil fast and it is eaten by every animal. Kibble is used when you can't provide personal care for your baby under 10% growth, but you don't want it to starve until it reaches the trough age. The last method is using kibble, especially the cheap grey kibble, in a dedon or healing pig. They use a lot of food value when healing other animals and with cooked meat or normal meat, it's almost impossible to fill up the food value enough to keep the healing up. With kibble it's much more easier because it's lighter, so you can carry more. It also has a bigger stack size and a decent high food value of almost 100. Now to my favorite part of this video, the tips and tricks around the kibble. After you have seen the full video, tell me which tips and tricks you didn't know before. Just write it in the comments, I'm very interested. Trick number one. You actually only need the cyan kibble. After the developers changed the kibble system and reduced it to six instead of one kibble per dino egg, they not only simplified the kibble overall, but also made higher kibble compatible with cases in which you would need a lower kibble. Let's say you need a green kibble to tame or to imprint. You could use the green kibble and you could also use every other kibble that is above the value of the green kibble. And now you understand why the cyan kibble is the most valuable. It has the highest quality and therefore can be used in every situation in which kibble can be used. In many of my bases I just produce the highest kibble because I just need one kind of dino and I just need to produce for one kind of kibble that covers it all. This trick only works if you're far enough into the game that you don't care about the requirements of crafting and you don't care about the ingredients you're using for it because the expensive kibble is the expensive kibble. If you're early in mid game, I would suggest you to save your materials and don't use it for the kibble, but try to have the cheaper kibble instead. But once you reach end game, just go for the cyan one. Tip two, older kibble is more efficient. If you use mods like S Plus or kibble tables or vending machines, you may be able to craft the old augmented kibble. While it's not craftable in the base game anymore, it is still with these mods. The good thing about augmented kibble is that it has lower food value and therefore can tame faster. The downside is that it is really expensive and requires extinction resources to be crafted. It also just comes with three different quality types and is not backwards compatible like the new kibble is. If you have the resources and you know you want to tame a lot and the animals need blue, pink or yellow kibble to be tamed with and you have access to a mod that can make this kibble, just go ahead and try it and save yourself some time. The third trick is about getting special eggs really quick and easy and have a dino that lays two eggs in one. Special eggs craft the best kibble and one dino that lays them is the Deinonychus. His fertilized eggs are used to craft the kibble but he also lays raptor eggs as unfertilized variant because there is not such a thing as unfertilized Deinonychus eggs in ARC. With a Deinonychus you cannot only make the highest cyan but also the green simple kibble. If you play on official or console, you will not have an item collector as many modded servers have that collect unfertilized eggs, but Deinonychus have another nice feature. If you keep them on mating and they lay eggs, these eggs will not despawn within a few minutes, but they will lay there for several days. They will also not lose health even when the surrounding is not fitting for incubating. That way you can keep your Deinonychus on permanent mating and collect the fertilized eggs every few days to craft kibble with them. Just make sure that they don't lay them in a spot in your base that offers the right incubating temperatures. Otherwise you will have like a little tiny baby problem. This was my small 101 kibble guide for ARC. I hope this video helped you to understand more about the topic and when it did, I would be happy if you could leave me a thumbs up and maybe even consider subscribing. Thank you for giving me your time to watch this guide and I hope you have an amazing day. See you next time. Bye.